Hey guys, welcome to new video, Free Nine Dushin here. In today's video, I'm gonna extract some uh, lead from uh, lead acid batteries. And uh, remember these, these batteries I uh, harvest from uh, that Panasonic server. And it's empty, so no electricity inside. Uh, this is a uh, rechargeable lead acid battery uh, made in Taiwan. So I got four of them and I already opened one. And if you see inside, there is no active acid inside. So uh, it's very safe to open and very nice and very nice lead there of course when i do that i use gloves but not right now so uh, today i'm gonna harvest some lead i will see how much actually i can recover a lead from that all the four piece of battery and uh, you see there this is our lead leaves and this is the top and here i got also some lead in that plastic coated with that yellow plastic so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove all that lead and uh, I will melt that and nice coin uh, lead is very easy to melt so uh, I sell all the metals like copper like uh, scrap uh, metal or like uh, aluminium but I save uh, lead, tin and uh, zinc because it's very easy to melt and I can make some very nice stuff from it, okay? Let's start. Of course, what you need to use when you work with the batteries, you need to use the gloves and you need to use the gargoyles because uh, this inside, this is not uh, liquid acid, you see? This is dry acid battery, but uh, liquid acid battery is very dangerous because they have liquid sulfuric, so liquid sulfuric acid, which is very dangerous, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna open all these four batteries. It's very easy. I just, uh, with a sharp tool, I just uh, cut that line. This is the top and you see like normal battery, they got some holes here with the rubber. So if you see right now, there is no liquid acid inside. So to cut that battery, I use this tool. This is a carpenter tool, but this is the old one and I use to remove some plastic when I do some scrap, okay? Or not shot that, I just hit that like this. Nothing spectacular here, okay? And like you see, just couple of hits and I open that battery it's dry acid battery see there so okay let's let's open the other two Okay, so what we do next, 
we'll just take a new container and uh, I will just remove let's try to cut that on the outside here Yeah, I just removed that wall, you see, right now. See there? This is our lead. Very nice lead. Okay, so let's I take everything. Okay, right now I'm gonna remove all the lead from that, okay? Okay guys, so I remove everything from two batteries. This, in this metal dish I got a lead from the batteries. And this is just a junk. This is some electrolyte, dry electrolyte and this is some paper. So this is go to waste together with this plastic and uh, this I will put in the furnace and uh, I will make some beautiful I will make some uh, coin bar from this and to make this coin bars I use for a mold I use just the uh, bottom from the can aluminium can you will see I just put that in the stove and uh, when all the lead is melt, I just pour that in the couple of these and I have a nice point bars from that lead, okay? Okay guys, so this is just, uh, this is what left from the, all that battery. So this is just waste. This is go to waste everything. So for a mold, I just use 
from a aluminium can here in the can I got some material which is not uh, melt this is uh, probably some uh, lead which is uh, oxidized and uh, some junk you see it's very crunchy it's still a lead but they won't melt because oxide uh, maybe I just maybe just need some uh, bigger fire for that some uh, furnace but never mind for now I will leave that on the side and uh, I will melt that in the furnace sometime when I uh, turn on the furnace for some copper or anything else uh, when you use this can this cheap uh, paint can be careful the first one after a second tour I uh, after a second battery I uh, just uh, start to burn so I change I take another one okay so be careful when you use this can okay guys so on the end this is the result from that four battery and uh, I got a very nice lead coin here depends on the shape of aluminium can and the size I got different size of these uh, except uh, this one this is just I, I missed uh, one can and I poured that on the ground but never mind uh, so look at that this one is uh, very nice I just uh, with the screwdriver I just uh, mark that coin like lead because I don't want to mix that with my uh, zinc and my uh, tin metal stock so uh, I just mark every every coin okay like these you see that okay but uh, this special one these got very nice hole in the middle similar like gold when it's uh, when it's pure and when it's cold so uh, this is actually how it's look when you use aluminium can like a mold I'm sorry why I'm not shot uh, more uh, uh, sequence with the pouring but uh, it's not easy to hold the camera in the your hand and uh, in the same time you take uh, that dish out the stove and pour that uh, lid okay so okay very nice heavy chunk uh, so uh, this is a pure lead I think uh, it's very very pure from uh, four lead acid rechargeable batteries so okay uh, like I said see depends of the can I got uh, it's a different shape and size and uh, you see that you see there uh, this is just a little rest on the end and uh, look at that this one it's actually it's not the best uh, shot it's uh, not shiny but never mind okay so uh, this is result from that Ford rechargeable battery look at that some number from the can okay so here I got my scale we'll put that scale on the zero and we will see the result let's start to measure all that I care to my lead be clean and uh, to get nice purity not uh, to look the best because on the end I will remel that definitely for some project okay okay so in the end it's uh, a kilogram and 57 gram from four battery I harvest one kilogram of lead something ab about one kilogram and uh, you see that small amount in the can which uh, I cannot melt in this way because it starts to oxide uh, uh, it starts to oxidize and it's very hard to melt that in the classic stove but I put that on the side and I will melt that 
some other time the torch. Uh, I just want to show you that you can easily melt your uh, lead in the stove. Uh, probably for you, uh, if you need a lead, this is very nice source of lead for uh, some project or something similar, I don't know. But uh, if you want to earn money, probably for you it's the best way to just sell that battery to, re to some recycling center. Because uh, if you see on the price of lead, you got, I don't know, maybe $2 here, definitely. But if you sell that battery, you, prob you will probably get more. But if you need a lead, this is a very nice source to get pure lead, okay? So guys, once again, this is not the best way to earn money. This is just a video where I show you how much uh, you can harvest lead from that four battery. So, uh, so what you need to do, you just need to calculate what is the best way for you to sell battery or to harvest lead and uh, of course you can do it in the normal stove with a high temperature or uh, you can do it with a torch but uh, be careful from the fumes the fumes from lead it's very very bad uh, why i harvest lead because in the future i want to make some stuff from a lead from a tin from the zinc from some uh, that very easy to melt metals so uh, I saved that for uh, my project I got a box with the zinc and tin and the lead coins like this okay so guys I hope you like this video but of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, hit that notification bell button if you if you want to see more videos like these just put that in the comment and uh, until next video, for Indusion out, cheers.